Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about exit lag because exit lag is the program that I use in order to lower my ping in Blade and Soul. So you can see over here that there's Blade and Soul, I'm going to click on it, and since I've optimized everything, you can see that my estimated latency is 181 ms, and this is my real ping. While in game it's going to show a different number in game it shows around 280 250 to 280 that's because it also takes in consideration delay from my uh, computer input my keyboard input and all these other inputs and this is why the ping in game is usually a little bit higher than your actual ping however the main number that i'm looking for is the estimated latency over here so it's 181 which is not bad for me and the main reason why I'm making this video is because I have been working with Exit Lag for almost a year now and I've always been bothering them about discounts for you guys because I'm not happy with only 15% discount because everyone's got 15% discount. I want to offer you guys something special. And so starting from last week, my code now gives you 20% off. So that is the promo code Keropi. So that's K-E-R-O-P-P-I. Gives you 20% off right off the bat and you can use it for multiple purchases so there's no pressure to buy a very long subscription if you don't plan to use exit lag that long you can use my promo code to buy one month maybe you have school or you're busy and you're not able to play blade and soul or any games that you need to use exit lag you can save some money there and then when you come back and maybe you need exit lag again you can repurchase exit lag by using my promo code again and still get that 20 percent off so it works on multiple purchases which is very very nice so how exactly do you apply this promo code? Unfortunately, it's not as simple as just clicking a link. However, it is almost that simple. So you're going to see over here that I have a random video opened right here. You know, it's the BNS Eternity Temple, uh, Soul Shields and Primer. You can open any of my videos and my description is the same for all of them. You'll see here that you could join my Discord, you could become a member or my exit like referral link. However, if you click show more, it actually gives you a, a little bit more information. You can also see over here that this is the VPN that I use. Since I do live in China, I do need a VPN to upload, to live stream, to do all my YouTube stuff. So this is the VPN that I use for that. However, for Blade and Soul, I use Exit Lag. And you'll see here, use promo code Karopi for 20% off works on multiple purchases. So first of all, you're going to click on this link right here. It's going to bring you to this page. And the first thing that you need to do is you, you're going to need to log in. Since I logged in already, it's fine. If you don't have an account, you simply make an account. All you need is an email address and you're good to go. Then after you've created an account, you're simply going to go to plans over here. Then you're going to select the duration of how long do you need. Again, you can purchase one month if you only need one month. You can do 90 days, you can do 180 days, it doesn't matter. However, do keep in mind the longer the duration, the bigger the discount is going to be because it is 20% off. So let's say that you want to buy the quarterly one just to be safe. So you go to proceed. Again, you can choose your payment. So in my case, I'm just going to choose PayPal and right here. So right now you can see it's $18.50 for 90 days. You're going to untick the subscribe button and you're going to type in code Karopi right here and you're going to do apply discount. Once you hit that, boom, it's immediately going to apply and you can see now it's $14.80. So you've saved $4 just by using the discount code. And you can do this on as many purchases as you want. So it's super, super useful. And I hope that it really does help you guys out. By using this referral link over here, I do get a kickback. So it really does help me out a bit because I do use a lot of the money that I get from exit lag to reinvest back into the channel, mainly into equipment or into content and stuff like that. So I really do appreciate it if you'd use my referral link as well as using my promo code since it does save you a dollar or two. So now that I've explained how to actually purchase or how to get exit lag, let me teach you how to optimize it. A lot of people don't know how to optimize exit lag. They just install the exit lag, they just click on it, they click on the first server, and then they just say apply roots and they just start playing the game. And they find out that, oh, it's really laggy or there's lag spikes and it's really crappy to play and they don't have a good experience. Then they're like, oh, exit lag sucks. So this video is going to teach you how to optimize it. So first of all, you need to find your game. So in my case, it's Blade and Soul. Keep in mind that that there are separate versions for the Russian test server as well as the regular Blade and Soul. Once you've selected the regular Blade and Soul, it'll pop up over here on your side and you need to select a region. So if you play in the North American servers, you've got five different servers to choose from Dallas 1 to Dallas 5. 
if you're playing on the European servers, you've got Frankfurt and you've got Moscow. You've got these four servers to pick from. And if you play on the Asian servers, there's a lot more to choose from because there's a lot of Asian servers. So you can choose Beijing if you're playing on the Chinese Blade and Soul. If you're playing on the Japanese ones, you pick either Tokyo 1 to 3. If you're playing the Korean server, you pick KR 2 or 3. And if you're playing on the Garena servers, you have a lot more options. You have Singapore, you have Bangkok, and you have Vietnam. So these are all for the Garena servers. And if you play on the Taiwanese servers, you have the Taiwan servers over here. So it does cover pretty much all of the servers for Blade and Soul, uh, which is pretty nice. So in my case, I play on the NA server. So I'm gonna pick Dallas 1. And once you press Dallas 1, you'll notice down here, there's a real-time updater of your ping, which is very, very nice because you can see what nodes you're connected to as well as your estimated latency. So you can see my estimated latency is 181 right now. And we're gonna try Dallas 2. You see Dallas 2 is not so good, it's 190. They're gonna go to Dallas 3, 185. Dallas 4, 190, and Dallas 585. So by just by looking at that, I know that I don't want to connect to a Dallas 2 or Dallas 4 because they're 290 MS. And so far the best server is Dallas 1 because it gives me 181 MS, which is the lowest MS uh, at the moment, which is very nice. And it also tells you what nodes you're connecting to. So since I have this, use the roots within my country first. So the first server is Hangzhou because I am located in China. So it's connecting to a Chinese server first before routing over to Dallas one, which is connected to Blade and Soul over here. So you can see the ping to the node, the ping from the node to the server, and then that server connection to Blade and Soul finally. So this way it gives you the estimated ping and basically it just makes your life so much easier. Exit lag recommends using two TCP routes. I personally have tried two, I've tried three and I've tried four. I recommend you to test all of them. But for me, I personally get the best results with four TCP routes. Four TCP routes basically means that I connect to multiple nodes and each node I use a little bit of bandwidth to connect to that node and that node will connect to the server and eventually this will connect to the Blade and Soul servers. And for me, this just gives me the most stable ping. I can get much lower ping by using two TCP routes, but the issue with using two TCP routes is my ping is unstable. So I have lower MS in game. However, there will be times where I suddenly spike up. So let's say that with two TCP routes instead of my regular two 250, 280 ping, maybe I only get around 200 ping. However, there are times where I'm attacking, suddenly my ping goes from 200 to 300 all of a sudden, and then it'll go back down to 200. So there are a lot more spikes for me, However, again, this really depends on your internet because I live in China, so I do have to deal with the Great Firewall of China, which really screws up with a lot of my networking, which is why sometimes I get very bad ping, sometimes I get very good ping, and it's all over the place. As you can see over here, the Hangzhou server, I suddenly have a thousand MS over here connecting to Dallas 1. So if I was only using two nodes over here, my ping would spike like crazy because it's because of this 1000 MS over here. However, if I have four nodes over here, then you'll see that it went down dramatically. It went down to 184. And you'll also notice that it immediately changed the server from Hangzhou to Shanghai 5. So this is the new feature of exit lag where they do dynamic switching. So for example, if you suddenly have a bad node and your ping is like, you know, timed out or if your ping is 9,999, it's gonna automatically switch to a different node in order to give you better ping. However, for us, the end user, unfortunately, it will still result in a lag spike in game because they need to instantly switch the server. And by switching the server, you do get a mini lag spike, which really does suck, but it's better than just disconnecting from the server altogether. However, Exit Lag knows that this is an issue and they're working on it and they're gonna try to make it even better so that maybe we have dynamic switching before the lag spike happens. Maybe they have like some prediction algorithms of some sort, but this is what we have right now. And to be honest, I would much rather get a lag spike than a full disconnect because by disconnecting on Blade and Soul, you know, that you guys all know, relogging and reconnecting takes such a long time and it's such a huge hassle. I would much rather suffer a five second lag spike 
and then have my ping stabilize again and have good ping and be good to go again. So that is one of the big changes that we got with the new version of exit lag, which is I believe version three, which is very, very nice. But yeah, hopefully this new version of exit lag will now let you test out your ping, basically see what connection is the best for you. And again, with the TCP routes, exit lag recommends using two. So I recommend you guys to start with two TCPs and see how your ping is. If your ping is unstable, maybe you're getting those lag spikes like what I have, try bumping it up to four TCP routes and trying that. And maybe with four TCP routes, if your ping's a little bit too high for your liking, then maybe drop it down to three TCP routes and, and see how that goes. Remember, Blade & Soul does not support UDP routes, so you have to use a TCP route for it to work. Putting any routes in UDP doesn't do anything for Blade & Soul. But yeah, hopefully this video helped. If it did, I would appreciate a subscribe, or if you want to go that extra mile, please consider becoming a member. Speaking about members, thank you Lina Ren, Leishi, STSIN2, and Ki for becoming members and supporting my channel. And as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Bye! Welcome for the heels that boost so